Welcome my friends and on today's episode of how can we abuse Wong to get wins, we are piloting a Mr. Negative deck. Mr. Negative has to be one of my favorite archetypes. All-time favorite is Heimdall. Second is going to be Mr. Negative, and he is so, so flexible. All you have to do is grab cards with a lower power than energy, and then once you invert the deck, you're able to play all of these cards for less than they are worth. Mr. Negative normally likes to take advantage of a mix of powerful ongoing effects, but then also some powerful on-reveal effects. This time, we are skewing more heavily toward the on-reveal side of things because we are teching in Wong, who fits in beautifully, at the 4-2 stat line, he'll invert into 2-4. Not getting a lot out of that specific switch, but it is when he is going to be duplicating plays of White Tiger, Wolfsbane, Ironheart, Jubilee, maybe Psylocke, any of these that we really get to go the distance. And if you look at the energy cost of these cards inverted, oh, it's so, so low. So we can play these cards almost for free on Wong's location while we make other plays at different sides of the board, and that's where we can really start to swing the game into our favor. Wong also adds a level of consistency that other variants of Mr. Negative is missing. Usually the deck absolutely falls apart if you're not able to draw and then play Mr. Negative on curve, or even before curve, uh, as we are trying to cheat him out early with Psylocke. But normally his deck would just fall apart if he's not there. Wong gives us another engine piece. If we're able to get enough duplicated on reveal abilities out of these other cards, then we have a fighting chance if we get Mr. Negative late or we don't see him at all. Rounding the deck out, we have Sunspot to be able to play early. It doesn't matter if he gets inverted or not. We have Magic giving us an extra turn seven with a lot of energy, and we have Psylocke to give us additional energy as, as well, um, which sort of synergizes with Sunspot. I often find that if I've drawn the more expensive curve of the deck early, I like having Sunspot to be able to absorb a couple early past turns. It's just my experience that he's very effective here. Speaking of efficiency, Angela is the queen of efficiency. We're going to be playing a number of cheap cards to her location, buffing her up, being able to get that premium two cost stat line. Psylocke is here, play her on two, you get four energy on turn three, you play Mr. Negative early, and you get an extra round of drawing from the inverted deck, which is just so, so powerful. Ironheart and Wolfsbane are both three drops that are here to be able to play onto Wong's location. They're also incredibly effective once they are inverted. Jubilee helps us thin the deck and make it more consistent. If we have not found Mr. Negative, hopefully we found Jubilee, and then she gives us a roll of the dice to try and get Mr. Negative back out on the board. If we play Mr. Negative, then we can play Jubilee later to get an extra draw out of an inverted card, which could be extremely high powered if it's, say, Iron Man, White Tiger, or somebody like this. Wong, we've already covered. Shang-Chi is a bit of control that is tech that I just enjoy using right now for energy three cost. He's a little better if he's inverted, not by a lot, but I just love the uh, power swing that he can potentially provide. Iron Man is a must with Mr. Negative, the inverted Iron Man, one of the most powerful cards in the game. If you're able to play Mr. Negative and then get the inverted Iron Man, that's pretty much reason to just snap. You're confident on winning the game at that situation. White Tiger, very efficient. One cost, five strength. That's also dropping the Spirit Tiger if she is inverted. And then Magic giving us that turn seven. Extra draw from the inverted deck. Extra consistency for being able to find our key pieces. My current deck list is up above. If you guys are missing any of the cards, you can leave a comment down below. We can talk specific card substitutions for you. I'm very interested in the discussion around this deck specifically because, as I was saying, Mr. Negative is so, so flexible. And also what I love about him is that he can be a very budget deck. You don't have to have an expansive pool three collection to be able to make him work. Obviously, Mr. Negative himself is a pool three card. You have to have the luck of the draw to be able to add him into your collection. Kamartage with Wong. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. So once you get Mr. Negative into your collection, out of the, he doesn't need a lot of other pool of three cards alongside him to be great. He can empower these pool one, pool two cards and make a deck of them. We'll be able to play Mr. Negative here. You definitely don't play Mr. Negative to Kamartage because then he zaps the deck and he zaps it again, which flips it back to normal. So uh, do not do this. I've seen... I think I've had one opponent do it accidentally. They played it, and then in a crazy sequence of events, what was it? It was like at a lockjaw location, and then Odin came in and re-triggered Mr. Negative, undid all of the good work that they had tried to do. We're going to play Wong, even though it became more expensive from Icebox, and we're going to snap. There's no way the bot is beating this. We get four activations of all of our on-reveal effects. 
including a free Iron Heart here. I would kind of love to be able to get magic out. Yeah. I would really like to get ma- No, Electra killing. I put so much energy into that Sunspot. He was absorbing my first, what, three turns? It's okay. There's the magic. Where's the magic? There's the magic. We'll put magic out here. Hang on, hang on. Put her back. I forgot Ironheart is absolutely free. We play Angela, Magic, Ironheart. The bot snapped. They thought their Electra zapping my sunspot was enough. Iron Man's looking Iron good. Man. Tinkerer's Workshop is going to be hard to top. It really is. But we don't have to win there. We just need to win Kamertaj and Limbo. And we still have Iron Man ourselves to be able to go up and over the top. And one more. And one more. And one more. <laughs> uh, Psylocke. Interesting. I don't have any great targets for Shang-Chi, honestly. I do have a Jubilee that could pull something fun for us. I don't know. It's hard to say that Jubilee is going to get anything better. Two cards in deck. What are they? We know we can figure out what they are. It's White Tiger and it's Wolfsbane. Both of those actually are great at Kamartaj. So I'm going to take it back. We're not going to play Iron Man. We're going to do this and then watch the Spirit Tigers or the Wolfsbane. <laughs> Go absolutely nuts. I'm hoping it's Wolfsbane, honestly. No, oh, we got the white tiger. That's fine. Because then, let's see, with three tigers, is that enough? Did we just beat them? We topped Iron Man? <laughs> yes! Because <laughs> Mr. Negative ended up being 12 strength after Ironheart was done with him. Oh, the unanimous victory. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your deck's empty, man. You got no more juice left in the tank. Opponent's name is Okam. Is this Okam's Razor? Is this like a... Um, it's an Oblivion thing, right? I've got to check now. <laughs> it sounds so familiar. Yes, Okam's Razor. Oh, wait, wait. Okam's Razor is just like a... It's a thing. A scientific and philosophical rule that entities should not be multiplied unnecessarily. Why is that called Okam's Razor? Alright, somebody in the comments, fill me in. We're not going to do this while recording. <laughs> what am I missing on Okam's Razor? We got the draw card. Um, it's Psylocke here. And then Wong duplicated... Uh, after being duplicated, we play Ironheart, and she activates over and over and over again. It's going to be kind of crazy. The opponent has the exact same idea, but they have a Sunspot. A little bit more effective. Here we go. What are they doing? Are they going to cheat out Mr. Negative as well? Is this a mirror match? No, it's Jubilee. Okay, that's going to clog the board so fast. They've, they do have Mr. Negative. And then Ironheart. Honestly, a beautiful combo for them. It really couldn't have gone any better that they would get Mr. Negative first and then they pull the inverted iron heart. It buffs everything. We just have Wong to see if we can make a run at this. Uh... Oh, but now I got my own Mr. Negative. Okay. Wong is going to get ejected from Strange Academy. So we want to play as many cards as possible to Sinister London um, to potentially catch both of them. And when I say as many cards as possible, it's probably only going to be one here with uh, Iron Heart. But I got the inverted Iron Man. It's so good, <laughs> guys. It's so good. It feels dirty, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to snap. Oh, my opponent must be so jealous. I get the Iron Man and I get to duplicate him. He could certainly have it himself. He's playing the more um, standard Mr. Negative deck. Devil Dinosaur, very popular choice. He's a free four cost that then gets buffed based on how many cards are in your hand. I just personally found that with Mr. Negative, 
I was often running my hand down very low because so many of the cards are very cheap, especially once they've been inverted. So Devil Dinosaur actually wasn't doing a lot for me. If you're going to run a card like that, you're going to get more use usually out of, oh, your Iron Man is a zero strength. Mine's a five. You're going to get more use out of Ronan the Accuser usually because he gets buffed based on cards in the opponent's hand. And sure, you still run up against opponents who are going to be playing. Um, this is so many buffs. <laughs> You're going to run up against opponents who are able to thin out their hand, especially the self-discard archetypes. But otherwise, um, you usually do better than Devil Dino. We're in such a good spot, guys. Up by 10. Up by 20. 20 something? Oh, up to 28. Sure, sure. Ah, there it is. <laughs> oh, what a sequence. Wong, Ironheart. Ironheart triggered four times, and then the duplicated inverted Iron Man. Huge. Huge. Angela, Shang Chi, and Wolfsbane. Ooh. I was really hoping that Olympia would give me either Wong or Mr. Negative. Also, Psylocke getting to draw two cards out the gate. That should be your slot on being able to play the dream. I get magic? They're just not giving me anything, are they? Let's play Angela on mid. I really don't have a good turn three play. They get the Psylocke, of course. It's probably another mirror match up against Mr. Negative. Mr. Negative just very popular right now. We won the last mirror match. Does this mean that we are playing the superior version of the deck? Maybe. Or does it just mean that we are the superior gamers? Take your pick. Such Psylocke has such a beautiful card art. Her and all her variants. And they did such a good job with the effects. Hers actually look like there's some motion going on instead of some of these other ones. It's just like, oh, this one finger wiggles. They're also playing White Tiger and Jubilee. Very similar deck to our own. We get a Sentinel. I don't I don't need a Sentinel in hand. We've got a Bucky. Well, you'll never be able to use that Bucky. Big house. Okay. With three cards in deck, please give me the Mr. Negative. And then he's going to be able to flip only two cards. But, you know, it's better than nothing. What are those two cards? We can figure this out. Wong... And uh, there he is. Fantastic. Hang on, what's the other one? No, we already have Wolf Spain. We already have Magic. We already have Shang-Chi. What is the, my final card? Well, I'm not thinking of it right now, so we'll let it remain a mystery. Oh, why did I click? Why did I? I misclicked. I didn't want to end the turn. I wanted to play my three energy. Say a Wolf Spain. It's okay. Ah, they're doing a Wong Mystique stack. I sense a um, Iron Heart coming on. That would be my guess. Let's play Magic. Do I want to play Magic? Or do I want to play... I mean, I do want the extra turn. But where do I want to play it to? It's probably over here then. I would like to play Iron Man and then something else to Big House. So maybe I actually play Psylocke over here. No, uh, it's a weird one. It's a weird one, but we're going to have nine energy to be able to play with. That's pretty good. That's what lets us play both Iron Man and the Wolf's Bane. It's being able to get the Psylocke out here and now. Oh, you also wanted to play Magic. Well, how fortuitous to me, I guess if they're going to play Ironheart, they're going to be able to buff and win Limbo. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay with this. Do I want to snap? You have six cards in hand. You set this up on purpose. But you have already played your White Tiger. That's one of your key cards. If you get four activations of Wolfsbane, do you win? Up against my 22, or rather uh, 24, because one more on the sunspot. I'll at least make you uh, nervous here. 
I don't know, guys. It's going to be very close. Very, very close. I am Iron Man. Iron Man takes us up. Wolfsbane puts us over. There's the Devil Dino. And it just feels, it just feels so bad because I literally misclicked and didn't play the Sentinel to the big house. Why did I not play the Sentinel to the big house? Who knows? Did it matter? No. <laughs> Thank goodness it did not. We've triumphed in two mirror matches. The superior Mr. Negative deck is here. Here is our triumphant deck. Ended up getting a lot of mirror matches in the matches today, but I am okay with it because as Mr. Negative, I've said this like the third time now, Mr. Negative decks are so flexible that they played out quite differently um, in every time. It wasn't like just a repeat of the previous game. Let's upgrade Wolfsbane. He did some good work for us. Be able to give him the nice. Do we have a collector's cash? Oh, one point short. Hang on guys. I think I have a way to be able to get us a cash to open. All right, we can do the budget upgrade here on Carnage to get the one point. <laughs> I want to open the cash. Yeah, yeah, frame break. Sure, sure. It's a nice looking card. I already like my other Carnage better, though. What do we get? Oh, I got Green Goblin. Uh, I don't like the pixel art, guys. Hot take. Pixel art is the worst variants they've made. But what is certainly not the worst is this version of Mr. Negative. I absolutely love leaning into the on-reveal effects. The uh, opponent that we faced last using Mystique as well to stack onto Wong is giving me some interesting ideas of some potential other Mr. Negative variants where we really lean into the ongoing side of things, but we'll save that for another video. If you want to help the video win the game of YouTube, then thumbs up, comments, subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more content coming out for Marvel Snap. Till next time, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.